Well, hello and welcome everybody to our joint venture webinar. Greetings from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Hi, my name is Craig Peliquin. And I'm Dennis Wilson. And it is great to have you all joining us uh, here today. Uh, don't be shy. Feel free to uh, say hello if you'd like to uh, in the chat box. Happy to hear from you and uh, where you're coming in from. Uh, we're going to be getting started uh, in our webinar right away. We've got lots to talk we about today, don't we? we got an awful lot of tips, tips and tricks and funky stuff to help you grow your business fast. The 10x thing has become all the lingo now. And the quickest way to 10x in your business is usually through joint ventures. That's our little secret. Oops. <laughs> that was supposed to come at the end. Well, it will come in the end, but we're also, <laughs> we're also going to share with you today some really good you're going to take away after this webinar. You're going to be able to take some tips to start your own joint ventures, yep. how to make more money. We're going to show you some really cool things. So make sure you stick with us for the entire webinar because there's things throughout. There's goodies at the end. And yeah, it's all for free. And right. uh, there is some free things at the end that you're going to get with uh, value is prices. Ah, absolutely. <laughs> you're going to get a couple of books. You're going to get uh, just a whole bunch of information and a proven track to run on to increase your sales. All right, so uh, let's get started there. Welcome, everybody. We've given you enough time to get on. Those that are coming in late, uh, if we don't say hello, uh, we're saying hello now. That's right. All right, so. Uh, the pre-hello of the hellos. There we go. So let us get started. So the secrets to successful joint ventures. So let's first get started by, uh, let me introduce you, yeah. uh, Mr. Uh, Dennis Wilson. Uh, you believe that all small businesses can increase sales quickly, often for little or no money. Yes. We're going to share with you a bunch of uh, just, I won't say rules, but ways to make it successful. You know, it's a, it's a big myth that you just go to somebody and say, hey, man, you want to sell my stuff? I'll sell your stuff. Um, interestingly enough, often the fastest way, which we'll get into, is for you to actually sell someone else's stuff. It's actually often the fastest way for you to make money because you have no deliverable. Right. Unless you're in a software or such business uh, where you don't have to do anything with time to, to, to fulfill, uh, often the fastest way to increase your revenue, if you have a list, is to sell other people's stuff. There you go. For little or no money. For little or no money. <laughs> All right. Since we're back up here now, uh, you are the founder of Small Business Dream and the rapid. Well, let's start at the beginning here. Dennis Wilson, you believe that all small businesses can increase sales quickly often for little or no money. Yep. You're also the founder of Small Business Dream and the Rapid Sales Growth, Growth Blueprint, Five Steps to Maximize Sales While Minimizing Stress. Exactly. You also help launch and mentor over 700 companies in 30 different countries yes. in multiple languages with a turnover of over $1.4 billion in revenue. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And uh, you're also the author, consultant, business person, and started several multi-million dollar companies yourself. Yes. And the Small Business Profitability Secrets. At the end of this webinar, you will get a link to download that book for free. So you can always go to Amazon and buy it. Mm -hmm. But we will give you 15, free. 15 bucks or yeah, something. There you go. Free is better. Now, Dennis, you live uh, right uh, where we're broadcasting from, in Yaletown, Vancouver. This is a... Uh, an actual photo outside. It of actually your is off my balcony. Yeah. So I mean, Yale Town in Vancouver is a it's a really nice little area. Um, been living here for a number of years. Really, really like the view, like the vibe, and it's fairly quiet at night. So it's a great place to run international operations from. Right. And uh, your your main company, uh, uh, over 20 years old now, Internet Next Step Consulting. Why don't you talk a little bit about INS? Yeah. So INS was a software company I started. Uh, yeah, close to 25 years ago now. Uh, specifically in the direct selling uh, arena, software to control all of the direct selling, all of the relationship management, and all the stuff, interestingly enough, that you need to have for joint venture stuff. <laughs> so we actually grew to top five in the world, and um, you know it's just been a heck of a journey. We've helped an awful lot of people through their companies become successful, and yeah, we really, really enjoy what we do with Internet Next Step. There you go. What was the key to your success, Dennis? Well, interesting enough, the key to my success, in my opinion, in all of my businesses is always staff and partners. So first picture is actually a picture of our programming staff in Australia. And the next one's uh, there and this guy named Craig Peliquin, who uh, I'm going to get into introducing. Oh, right now. Look at that. <laughs> hey, that go. was fantastic. So Craig Peliquin spent 10 years in the entertainment industry while also owning his own business. 
And after nine years in the direct selling industry, he had helped three companies cumulatively increase their sales by 23 million with a LinkedIn system that we're actually going to teach you how to do later on in this webinar. For we you. are. And uh, he, where we get to, he follow, he, he found following up with LinkedIn difficult. So he created this system, but he found that LinkedIn was actually not the tool to make it all happen easily. And he came to me and said, can we make something that'll work? And we built it into our software to really, really be good at LinkedIn. Now in corporate ownership roles with six direct selling companies, he then implemented this system and he repeatedly increased sales growth as much as 40% in just six months. So this is the ultimate thing because it doesn't cost you anything, right? It teaches you how to use the power of LinkedIn and social media follow-up tool included in small business team to generate 10 fresh targeted qualified leads within 10 minutes of effort. And the best part is you don't need LinkedIn premium. The free version works just fine. It certainly does. Now, Dennis, it wasn't always this way for you. You didn't always live here uh, in, a, in, a, in, 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 in in downtown Vancouver, overlooking, uh, you know, in, in, with the multi-million dollar view. Yeah. It okay. Well, you didn't well, live in that. I mean, we started off. I mean, my life was poor. Um, we grew up not going on ski trips, not doing all that kind of stuff. Vacations were a tent trailer that looked similar to this. I think this was the upgraded model. I don't think ours was actually quite that nice. Uh, always looking across the parking lot or looking across the campsite at the motel, not even knowing that a hotel existed. I'm like motel swimming pool, sign me up. So, I mean, it was, it was a different way to go. And uh, as we're talking about sort of joint ventures and partnerships, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna share you a little story of my first partnership. Um, it was unintentionally with my father. I went to him and said, dad, I'd like to have cable TV so I can see Saturday morning cartoons. I was 11. And uh, he's like, uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, until you're willing to pay for it. And I said, well, how much is it? He goes, oh, it's 11 bucks a month. So I run up to my room, I get 11 bucks, I give it to him, he says, that's not gonna work. How do I know you're gonna pay next month? I'm like, oh man, all right, well, what do you want? He says, a year, 120 bucks, and I run upstairs. I used to put money on the back of my girly posters because <laughs> then my brother couldn't find it to steal. I'm taking all my posters down, taking all my money out, giving my dad 121 bucks, go down and say, great. He says, okay, great, we'll get it. So we got cable TV. One night, watching cable TV, um, it came to a bit of a problem because I wanted to watch something. He wanted to watch something else. And he said, well, I want to watch this. And I said, well, don't you think that because I'm paying for it, I should be able to watch what I want? And he says, yes, absolutely. You can watch what you want standing outside. There is a blizzard going on outside in Leduc, Alberta that time, watching in through the window because this is my house. So this was my, my first real unexpected partnership that I learned one of the most important lessons of partnership and joint ventures. Compromise is key. Compromise is key. So I, from then on, let my father watch whatever he wanted. And in the second year, he paid cable and I didn't have to. So then I moved on to a joint venture. This was, a, I, and again, I didn't know this was called a joint venture when I did it. I had the coolest lemonade stand on the planet. My dad got this great big, I was a kid, it was like this big watermelon. We could never eat it all. He says, well, what are we going to do with this? And I said, well, I'm going to go sell it. So we set up a thing. I recruited all the kids because somehow in my little town, word got around. Man, people were driving down the road. They were lined up. And we ran out of stuff to sell. So I'm all my friends. You got any cookies? You mom bake cookies? Go get some baked cookies. Go get some lemonade. So I recruited all my friends to go bring all the stuff they could find. And we sold it all. And, of course, all the money is coming into my little Thingy thingy. And at the end, they're kind of like, well, like we sort of helped and brought stuff in. So I doled out some of the money to each of them and realized that I had just inadvertently, many years later, had my first joint venture. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, you know, I mean, I made some mistakes too. Yes. You know, I mean, I, I didn't all start like me. I did start off in the entertainment industry. You did say that, Dennis. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is me holding the big red shoes. That is the picture of me in costume. Uh, so uh, right out of high school, I was. Uh, uh, asked to be uh, Ronald McDonald in uh, in Canada for uh, almost ten years. Nice. It was it was a great job. Learned a lot about systems. I learned, learned a lot about people. Yeah, I certainly <laughs> did. Uh, I owned uh, I was a small business owner. I owned my own little magic shop. Excellent. There it is. Actual photos of it. <laughs> wow. And uh, this is back in the uh, late eighties, early nineties. So this is back when that picture was actually on a piece of paper, and you didn't even get to know if it worked out until after you developed the film. That is correct. Wow, cool. And uh, I didn't really own it. It yeah, owned yeah, me. Okay. It, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it did. Uh, then I got introduced to the industry of multi-level marketing, where we met. That's where we met. That is true. Uh, then uh, we started, or I started a company called Vacation Hits, which is a, a travel uh, networking company. And uh, I hired you 
to do the software. That's right. Because I had like 5,000 people join the company in the first month and I didn't have any software. I was like, Dennis, <laughs> I need help. That was kind of our first kind of little uh, joint little, venture there. Little did we know that we were headed towards being somewhat joined at the hip through multiple different business ventures and lots of learning to bring us where we are today. We did. And you know what? It allowed me to buy a, a really nice house, a multi-million dollar home on a on a uh, golf course. I built a miniature golf course <laughs> in my backyard with the pool. And you can see there's the little golfing around us. We had a lot of fun on that golf course there. And the putting green, you got to have your own putting green. And uh, yeah, all the nice cars and all the all stuff. the toys. Had all the toys, and then um, it all came crashing down uh, after uh, it, it can a, a divorce, and that was me uh, living on your couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In my first rental property, so yeah. always an entrepreneur. <laughs> he didn't pay much rent. <laughs> well, I had scaffolding on the outside of the window. Oh, that's right. Janet, so it was I, leaky. They were taking it apart and putting it back together. So, so I, let, you know, I let Craig live there to supervise. With them. the rise, that's come to fall sometimes. <laughs> but you know what? We uh, we we rebuilt. You know, we just we learned and we moved on. Right. We started a gift with purchase incentive program. So that's what we learned in the travel industry. Absolutely. Uh, that worked really well. A company called Quinden, and uh, that was Pello Quinn and Dennis. Dennis got Quinden. That's it. That was a great joint venture there. Great partnership. Yeah, that's right. That was a partnership. Yeah. That and uh, we work with some names that you may have heard of. You drive by Big O Tires, End of the World Carpets, Macy's, Dockers, uh, you know, Sirius uh, Satellite Radio. It was Sirius XM. It was back then. Well, they were separate companies. Separate, yeah. Carnival Cruise Lines. And um, then we worked and helped a company called Masada. It was one of your clients. Yep. And then uh, we ended up working together and, and helping them with some and programs. We implemented what we learned with gift with purchase and plugged it into Glissandra to help them uh, increase their sales. So right. And then I wrote my book uh, when I was working uh, with a company called Sunrider. Yep. Uh, they're about a 36 year old uh, direct selling company uh, out of the United States, uh, worldwide sales, and they wanted some help uh, getting more sales in Canada. And they brought me in, and I wrote my book while I was working with them uh, with the Sunriders. They're, the uh, independent business owners and help them get more sales. It's easier to write a book than teach people over and over and over. It really was. <laughs> and then um, Small Business Dream was ultimately created uh, as a subsidiary of Internet Next Step. Yeah, exactly. And uh, our dream is really helping business owners rapidly increase their sales. Which, of course, revolves around some joint ventures. So right. we've been traveling around the world. We've been meeting a lot of people. We've been helping businesses all over the place. I mean, you can see some goofy stuff. There's us in New York. Uh, Kevin Harrington, he's actually had pictures with us holding our books. Um, so we're just doing some really fun stuff, helping a lot of people. End of the world in Langley with some famous actors from, from Vancouver. And, uh, yeah, we're just traveling around and helping people increase their sales. That's exactly. our mind. We help people rapidly increase their sales. So here's one of your tips. Here's a big okay. tip. Write this tip. down. Don't rely on a single joint venture. So whether you're in an MLM, which we'll talk about in a bit, or whether you've got a partnership or a joint venture where you're renting your, your list to somebody, don't rely on one. Joint ventures, the key is to have a number of them in case you know they go up and down as they do, so you're not ever relying on a single one. Most important lesson you learned today, don't rely on a single joint venture once you get into joint ventures. There you go. Thank you, Dennis. Now, um, this is where you kind of got started. Yeah, so I mean, I started my, my sort of second official partnership was actually the software company that I talked about. And one of the key things that was interesting is I started that company and it took six years before it turned cash flow positive. So it was a partnership, but it was more like a joint venture because I was paying all the bills, including the salary of my partner. But anyways, um, the key that we really, really learned again is in joint ventures and or partnerships, you can't rush it. Yes, they can happen very quickly and that's your goal, but you gotta let them breathe, right? And I also know that some business owners lose sleep over not being able to anyone on the on the webinar lost some sleep because you had payroll or rent to pay the next day and you weren't sure what customer you were going to get it from. Um, hey, that happens. And actually, I have a very interesting situation where I lost some sleep. Um, I actually had open heart surgery in 2014. I was diagnosed with an aortic aneurysm. It is called the maker. Uh, you walk down the road, bump into a pole, your heart bursts or your aortic bursts, and you die. So it wasn't a sickness. It was a congenital thing, and it needed to be fixed. And as I went through the process of getting into the hospital and all that kind of stuff, I was sort of faced with that whole thing of, what if you die? Now, the surgeon told me, not a chance, but you're still faced with it. And so it was a pretty sleepless night. 
And when I sort of got through that whole process, I had done an awful lot of thinking and soul searching and I came out the other end perfectly healthy and I got focus. Um, I actually made concrete plans about what to do with small business dream. I was finding the direct selling was great. The clients were great and the small business dream clients were great, but I just started to feel like um, my legacy wasn't enough. I wasn't helping enough people and I found it more satisfying to help small businesses and business owners increase their sales than I did in the direct selling industry. So I made concrete plans on how we push that forward. I partnered with Craig Peliquin, this guy, at, I wrote a book. You did. We put about a million dollars of development into our joint venture app and our systems. And we created the sales blueprint, which helps people rapidly grow their sales. Uh, and then we went out and we started talking about it and hitting networking events hard. We did. We found great mentors. We actually have paid into mentorship programs. And of course the joint venture app, which at the end, we're going to let you have a look at for free uh, after we teach you all about how to do good joint ventures. And that's my book. You can get it at Amazon or hang tight at the end. You'll get a free download link. You will. So this is the rapid sales bl growth blueprint, the five step system to maximize sales with less stress. And you can see that step five intensify profits is really one of the things we teach them is how to do and create how to do joint ventures joint you ventures. want to get the profitability so joint ventures the traditional joint venture is when company a and company b decide to partner up and make company c so there might be products or services or money or whatever and then company c is born for the mutual benefit of company a and b um this isn't really what we're here to talk about tonight no we're here to talk a little bit more about sort of the 2020 joint venture how does it work now right and uh, one of those joint ventures, you could actually say that multi-level marketing is the ultimate joint venture. Kind of is because the company provides you the products and services. Right, you've got the list. You've got the list. Their products. Their products. And that equals cash in your hand. Right, that so, really be the ultimate joint venture. A lot of people can say that. That's not what we're here to talk to you about today, but it's a great way if that's all you have to get going with. Right. So traditional joint venture, as we talked about, company A and B make company C. A modern joint venture, this is what we're here to talk about. Person with a list partners up with a person with a product or service, or a person with a list partners up with another person in a list and you swap product or service. There's a whole bunch of different types. We're gonna go through the types, but we wanna get into modern joint venture talking tonight. Right, so why, why is it important? It needs to be done correctly. And because done correctly, it can increase your sales and revenue fast. Look at that, back to that rapid yes, sales can. growth. So why don't we share with everybody the five steps to a successful modern joint venture? It's more than a spit and a handshake. Oh wait, we have to do five steps. Five steps. Got it. There okay. we go. Determine your joint venture type. You need to do research. You gotta research your partners. Yeah. You gotta prepare to have the things available to make things able to be sold. There's a big one, Dennis. You Once you do engage. it, you gotta engage. You yeah. gotta do it. You actually gotta go back to the research and make phone calls, make LinkedIn requests. You actually have to do some stuff. Action supersedes everything. everything. It certainly does. And then follow up, yeah. follow up, follow up. Because remember your joint venture is not the most important thing in your joint venture partner's life. Right. If you're lucky and you've done your job right, you might be the most important thing in their life and they'll chase you around. Just depends. We'll get into both sides. So let's talk about determining your desired joint venture type. Step one. Step one. So zero one joint venture. You have a huge list of prospects, but nothing to sell. There you go. A one to zero. You have products and services, but little or no list. Or a one to one. You have products and services and a big list. And so do they. There you go. So that's the three types. So let's, uh, uh, once you determine the type, now let's do some research. You gotta do some research to find the appropriate people to joint venture with. Right, so if you've got a zero to one, you've got a huge list. You need to research Google for joint ventures and affiliate programs selling appropriate things. Yeah, and it could be you know, software, it could be digital, it could be a spoon, I don't know. You need to find the things that your list would be most likely to buy. Okay, so you can't take your list and sell anything to it or you're going to not get anywhere. No one's going to buy anything and your joint venture partner is not going to like you. Right. So it has to be people where it's like a complimentary sale. Obviously, never competitive. Right. Always complimentary. So I don't know if uh, uh, if you sell hamburger patties, you should joint venture with someone who sells buns. There you go. Is that good? That would be. Yeah. That would, that would <laughs> be. All right. So if you, got, you need to find at least 10 potential 
joint venture partners. We're going to share a tip in a little uh, bit. Yeah, we're going to show you them. how to do that right with LinkedIn. Complementary businesses and influencers. So if it's not a complementary business, I guess an influencer still is, but someone with a huge influence that if they say your product's good, people will agree it's good because they're into something that's congruent with your product and yeah. services. All right. So now um, on a one to zero, so you've got the products. Now you need to use Google to find a list of appropriate joint venture partners. Same, same way, thing. right? And you want to find at least 10, 10, of, those. 10 of them with complementary businesses and, and influence. Look, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, but it's reversed. Now you're looking for people who can sell your stuff with a big list. Right. And if you've got the products in the list, you need to do a zero one and a one and a zero. Twice as much work if you want to do it both ways. Exactly. So what would it cost to pay someone to do all this research, Dennis? Five cents, because it's easy, Craig. There's Google. <laughs> now let's break it down, Dennis. <laughs> you know, an hour a joint venture partner. So at, if you hire somebody $50 an hour to do that, that's $500. Yeah, because you can't just hire a $5 an hour outsourcer because yeah. you need someone who has critical thinking, um, yeah. you know, proper English and can do the analysis to find you the right people. Yeah, so I mean, we're, and we're talking minimum, it would cost you, even if you value your own time. That's right. At only $50 an hour. That's only 100 it, grand it, a year, folks. Right. So Not that, a lot of money. So that that is that, that's $500 of research minimum. Yeah. But why don't we show them how they could go and do a little bit for free? Oh, let's do that. Do it themselves. My LinkedIn system for joint ventures, Dennis, how to search for the right joint venture partner. I'm going to teach you this right now. So this is, you know, get your pens out. Get your pens out. I got get my logged pen into LinkedIn. I got my pen. It's ready. Okay, I got it out. And how not to connect. So I'm going to teach you how to connect and how not to connect. Because how not to connect is as important as how to connect. That's right. And what not to send is a message once you're connected. Yep. So there's some things, I mean, you've been connected on LinkedIn wrong. If you're on there, you know what those messages look like. Don't be that person. <laughs> if you hate them doing it to you, don't do it to them. <laughs> exactly. The importance of follow-up. And you're going to get a download link to the full book at the end of the presentation. Ooh, that's two freebies. There you go. So my book as well. So Excellent. don't worry. If you don't have a pen handy, <laughs> you can get access to the book, and we'll show you everything in the end. So let's get started. How do you search for qualified joint venture partners, Dennis? First thing you got to do is you got to search for the biggest city close to you. Why close to me, Dennis? Well, because if you're going to do joint ventures effectively and you're new at it, you're going to be better off trying to joint venture with someone close to you that you can physically meet and stuff. Once you've honed your skills, you can do this all over the world. But in the beginning, it's going to be easier if it's people close to you. There you go. Then you want to search for the industry that is closest to your product or service. Yeah. Or maybe even search for exactly the same industry you're in to find someone who services it a different way or does it in a way that's complementary to what you do. Right. Then you want to search for your neighborhood in that same industry. So you want to narrow it down to so find the biggest city and then smaller because, outlying areas. Because we're about rapid increase in sales. And uh, if you go for an hour and a half drive each way to meet the guy, that's a right. waste of time. Find someone close to you if you can. It'll right. save you time. So like if we look at the Vancouver area, for example, so Vancouver or Greater Vancouver is a very large area. Then we have suburbs outside. Yeah. We have Burnaby and Port Coquitlam and Surrey and White Rock. And then neighborhoods and, within those suburbs. Exactly. And Langley. And inside of Langley, there's Walnut Grove. So you may want to refine your search. Find it as close to home as possible. It'll be easier. So now you find somebody that's a good potential joint venture partner. What do you say to them? Well, of course, Craig, you tell them, I've got the best stuff in the world and you should sell it because you have a good list and you're going to get so rich selling my stuff because my stuff is awesome and I'm awesome and I think you're awesome and you can prove it by selling my stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's what everybody else does. Right. And how well does that work? I don't know. It doesn't work very well. I didn't think so. So you want to be simple. You want to, first of all, tell them I have many connections in the and in the area you're in. Substitute your area, Vancouver area, looking for people like you. Oh, oh. like What's me, that? like you. So Ooh. now, I'm. What's yes. in it for you? What's in it for our connection? Special. Would you like to connect here on LinkedIn? So you're asking a question. It's nice. It's simple. You're not selling. This is in that note that you're going to use, and I'll show that to you when I get into my LinkedIn account. That this is what you need to say. You need to say something. You always want to customize. Get Put their name in great there. Great curiosity and start making a friend with the intent to do business rapidly. Exactly. And now that you're connected, so let's say you send out the connection request and they accept it. Mm -hmm. And now LinkedIn notifies you. You have a new connection. Mm -hmm. 
what do you say next i got the most amazing stuff and it's awesome it's fantastic here's my website here's my phone number here's my friend's phone number, my wife's phone number, and and oh my god you're gonna be so good at this because you're gonna send me a lot of stuff and that'll make me think you're good at this yeah no thanks for Still. connecting oh. <laughs> what kind of people are you looking for oh, man. and then maybe are you open to joint ventures oh an open-ended question you're asking Bam. Oh. Go it out there. I like it. And they may come back with what's a joint venture. Yeah, what's a joint venture? Exactly. You know what? I'm looking for seven people. The whole idea is to start engaging them in a conversation. And starting with what you can offer them. Because then they're more likely to connect with you and like you. And then follow up on them on right. doing what you said. So why don't I go into my LinkedIn yeah, right now and show you exactly what that looks like, Dennis. I'm going to show you exactly. Okay. So here we are inside my LinkedIn account. And up at the top here, in the top left corner, there's a search box. We like this box. This is a good box. So yeah. if we just start by saying Vancouver and do a search, start by a big city, you can see there's 1.3 million results of people yes. that are in Vancouver on LinkedIn. Excellent. That That's, a, that, that's probably too big a list. It's probably not very focused. Right? So let's say that um, you have a product that is um, a health and wellness product. Health and wellness. So let's go Vancouver, health and wellness, and do a search. We just narrowed that down to 49,000 people that could be good possible joint venture partners. Let's go Let's go a step further. One of our clients in health and wellness um, uh, had, had a weighted blanket. Yeah, let's type in weighted blanket. Right? Vancouver and well, let's not go weighted blanket. Let's go. Let's go. No, that was not going to work. Okay. Right. What we're going to find is somebody that would need a weighted blanket. Oh, okay. Because we want to find a possible joint venture partner to sell our joint, uh, our, our weighted blanket. So what? So in that case, does your product or service solve? So in the case of weighted blankets, what, to, oh, and man, restless legs. Restless, restless legs. That's right. Restless legs. So yes. you're trying to find the same idea. Take your products and what? What does your product and service solve? And then right. you would go Vancouver and whatever the thing. Yourself. So you can see not very many. We know that it went too fast. We went down only 13 Woo. people with restless leg, legs. So let's try restless legs. Sometimes you have to do the plural. Yeah. Sometimes not. Okay. You try RLS. So, right. So let's try. Let's try something else because hers also helps people with autism. So let's just try that. So this is part of the research phase that we're talking about. You're okay. finding the right people to try to connect. 5,716 results. So 10 a day. Three, yeah, that's two years worth. There we go. That, that's a lot. Just in Vancouver. Now, if we go and we narrow that down to one of the suburbs, instead of Vancouver, let's try Langley. Langley is a suburb of Vancouver. We narrow that down now to 700 results. Wow, that's good. There we go. People that somewhere in the profile have autism. That could be a good joint venture partner. Now, what about a suburb of Langley, which is Walnut Grove? I mean, now we're literally down to about... 40,000 people. Not even that. It was 28,000, 28. I think, is what I my last check. But uh, there we go. So 45 There's people. still 45 people you could talk to, like literally across the street from you. So you could connect with them in a single day. Exactly. And if they're close in your service, this is where you want to be able to narrow things down. This is how you're going to find the right type of joint venture partner. Now, exactly. we said how to connect, how not to connect. How yeah. not to connect, Dennis, is click the connect button. Do not click that, Don't connect, click button. that connect button. Do not. It, it's there. It, it looks like it should be clicked. It's, it's leading you on. Now, you want to, first of all, click on them. You want to find out who the person is. You want to get a, uh, and, and it also records the fact that. That's right. That she, so they know that you looked at them. Exactly. And you can see if they're well connected. This person only has four connections. Right. Probably not got a big enough list to really help you be a good joint venture partner. Right. And you can see customer service representative at Safeway. So probably not the mover and shaker you're looking for. Right. So you can go back. And you can go and you can look at different ones here. Now, let's just go and just uh, grab a second one here. Uh, here's somebody more. Here's a teacher at the Surrey School District. 151 connection. And she obviously works with people with autism. That's why it's come up. So she's got a few more connections. So, so more likely a potential joint venture partner. Still, I wouldn't say ideal because probably has a bunch of rules and stuff they think they need to abide, abide by in the, in the school system. Right. And here is a treatment center director. Okay, now this okay. one's more interesting. Right. So more things are coming out, so she can be connected with more types of people, but hasn't really got their LinkedIn profile updated. That's right. So hasn't spent a lot of time here. Yep. So on LinkedIn, probably isn't the perfect joint venture partner. Eh, maybe, maybe, though. You could just do a connection. You just don't necessarily you expect know. a response. So. so 
as you're going through this, you can see this is the process of how you would go and find somebody that could possibly be good for you. And you don't have to get really, really, really crazy. You sure. can just try to connect with them all. It only right. takes like a minute to do. Um, and let, let's see where it right. goes. But go after the ones that have more connections because that's typically the rule of thumb that they'll be able so to So that's where you click the connect button because you need to add a custom invitation. Correct. You always want to add a note. You want to make this customized, as we said earlier. Hi, put their name. Hi, Allie. This is Craig. We, you know, I, I you know, I, I'd like to make a connection. You know, this is this is it. I've got people on LinkedIn that might be uh, of interest to you because you know already that you've got something that works for people with know, autism. Like, if you know like autism, then you'd take the message we showed you. You'd modify it slightly to say, I have a lot of connections with autism in your area. I thought we might want to connect. Right. So you're always going to be as specific as possible in this for the segments that you're going yeah. after. And this is short. You only love 300 characters. That's right. All right. It's like a tweet. It's perfect. And then they send the invitation. When they accept your invitation, then you're going to want to follow up immediately. Yeah. How do you know when somebody accepts your invitation? You click on my network and you click on your connections and you're going to see all your most recently added. So 27 minutes ago, I had somebody connect with me four hours ago, six hours ago, seven hours ago, seven, seven. These are all the people that just connected with me in the last day as we start scrolling through. So you want to be sending them a message, that follow-up message, as fast now, as you zero. possibly So get the app on your phone because the app will give you a push notification the minute someone engages with you and it takes you a few seconds. Save your pre-formatted message to your notebook or whatever you have on your phone so you can just easily copy it, paste it, and do it on the fly as fast as humanly possible after they connect with you. So all of what I just shared with you is in my book. You'll get a copy of that afterwards. But this is the way to find a really good joint venture partner. Yep. And you can do it for free. You don't even need the premium link to do it. So there you are. And you don't need my system. You can do that yourself. You can follow up uh, uh, using Excel spreadsheets in different ways or any of the uh, programs that you might already have that you're using. Um, we will talk about Small Business Dream because yep. if you like the system, you'll love Small what small dream. business dream could do yeah. for you. LinkedIn can get out of control really fast. So if you're going to do it seriously, you're going to need some kind of a tracking system, whichever you come up with. All right. So raise your hands if you wish there was an app for that. You may not know that you wish there was an app for that yet, but once you get going, you're going to wish there was an app for that. And that's when, when I was doing that. I said to Dennis, help me create that's something right. to help me do the follow-up. And to do it fast. Yeah. Fast, fast, fast. No mucking around, no extra steps. All right. So let's get back in the steps of a successful joint venture. Yep. All right, so step three is prepare. Prepare. Prepare is so important. So once again, you have a huge list. How do you prepare? You need to collect swipe copy and support materials from your chosen chosen joint venture partner. Yeah, because the problem here is, is just because they have a product and you have a huge list, it's not up to you to market their product. So one of the things that you're going to be looking for as you're evaluating potential joint venture partners is do they actually have the swipe copy? Swipe copy means you can cut and paste it and boom, you're in business with high converting copy. So it's really important if you want to grow quickly that you join and you have a list that you joint venture with people who have these things prepared. Right. Um, sadly, it also means that if you have something you want to sell to people with big lists, you're going to need this stuff prepared. Right. Okay. You want to update your LinkedIn and your Facebook profile. Yeah. You know, when somebody is searching for you and they're finding out who you are, and they do a Google search, one of the first things they're going to see is your LinkedIn. Well, Facebook. did you notice how we discounted the three people that we looked at that had like 11 connections, 14 connections, 12 connections? If that's you, no one's going to believe you can be that good as a joint venture partner. Right. And it's worse than that. If you're hoping them to sell your products and you have no connections, they're not going to trust in your product. It's just an instant disconnect. So you want to build up your connections. You want to make sure your profiles are done right so people go, wow, this is a person I want to yeah. do business with, whichever side. Right. And now what is swipe copy? Well, like I said, cut and paste stuff. And it's three to five emails to get the attention of a potential joint venture partner. So they're going to have email one, email two, email three. And that's pre-written. You're going to drop it into whatever system you're using, and you'll send out the emails that they gave you, or right. you'll provide it for them. Exactly. I'm kind of covering the second one. The right. Time so let's do the, the one where you have products, Dennis. No, so I have products. You're product. already there. Right. So you're going to create a product and and or service package. Yeah. So one of the keys is if you're going to do a joint venture, you really want to make sure your joint venture is fairly specific. It's easier to get a joint venture partner to sell a bundle of all your stuff than it is to have the joint venture partner try to send people to your shopping cart to fix some stuff. You really want to have a sales funnel 
and a very dialed in offer that's, you know, great value allows the whole, it's $999, you know, you really want to have a good product and service package. And of course, created all the swipe copy for them to be able to sell. Exactly. And you need tracking. you got to be able to track the sales from your yeah, partners. If you're going to do 10 or 20 different partners, then you need to know who sent who to your sales funnel, right? If you're only doing one guy, then I guess you don't need tracking because you'll have one sales funnel. It's theirs, you know, to pay them. Right. But in most cases, you're going to do more than that. So having proper tracking to know who brought that customer to you is important. Right. And once again, make sure you got your social media. You gotta have your assets in order. Right. So we already know swipe copy in this case is going to be three, e three to five emails to get the attention of a JV partner and three to five emails. Your JV partner can use to send to their list. So you need both. Exactly. You need to find the joint venture partners in the first place. So that's the stuff you're using. And then you need to have the stuff they're going to use to sell your stuff. Right. And a sales funnel with tracking. This is a place for your JV partners to send their customers to buy or take action. And know who sent them to you. Exactly. That's what the tracking is all about. So JV tracking, so you know which of your JV partners sent you the lead. I think we beat that to death, Craig. We have now. <laughs> all right. So now you've got a one-to-one -one where you've got your products and your services. Once again, you've got to do everything that we just talked about. You've got to do one and two. That is a little bit more work. It and is again, some of it's overlap. You know, it's not going to be that bad. It's it's a couple of weeks of, of serious focus. Not a big deal. So what do you think it would cost to have all this prepared for you, Dennis? Five cents. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you did just the copywriting emails alone, 10 emails. Uh, we've gone and researched it uh, yep. to be able to go do it. You're looking at about $300 in email. So that's $3,000 just in copywriting. Yeah, and if you get into really serious long copy emails, it's somewhere around 1800 or 2000 an email for a professional long copy person. So Right. Sales funnel uh, and tracking software. Uh, most of them about a hundred a month to do it properly. Yeah, minimum. There's, there's cheap ones. Yeah, they're probably going to let you down from what we know, but yeah. And there's like, more expensive ones. At a hundred months, you're in good shape. You're at an infusion soft level. You're at something serious. Yeah, you're going to need uh, sales funnel content creation. So yeah. you got you got to got to build, build your it. pretty sales funnels with the right words and the right graphics. Right. And uh, mentors, um, typically you need somebody to help you do this if you're going to do it yourself. You need if, if you don't know how to do it, you're either going to need to take courses or hire people that can get you there faster. Right. So, I mean, you've got a budget at least $300 an hour for 12 months, you know, to, for someone good, a year. Yeah. Depends how fast you want to get there. You can do $50 an hour and get there in two years or $300 an hour and get yeah. there in two weeks. And, then, and if you don't know how to do it, you need somebody to update your LinkedIn and Facebook profile. Right. You know, or somebody to and teach you. A lot you. of it you can do yourself or you can learn it. It just depends yeah. which way you want to go. So, you know, you're going to spend over $13,000 in your first year to get this all set up to be a proper joint venture. To have the most success. Again, yeah. one guy with an email list of 20,000 people selling your $500 product, you'd have it all back just like that. Yep. Doesn't take long. Doesn't take long. So why don't we give them a freebie? Yeah. So here's probably one of my favorite tricks. And I learned this from our mentors. And, and I, I fancy myself pretty good at helping to increase people's sales. And when I saw this, I was just like, whoa did I ever waste a lot of effort doing the wrong thing? So you want to go and sign up. So make a special email address and you want to go and sign up to every email list you can. You want to go to Brian Tracy. You want to go to Gary Vaynerchuk. You want to go to every marketing guru, everything. So all of those emails that you signed up for and you've been frustrated. So you're either putting them in the trash or you're diverting them to the never look at them. Now you want to go and put them all in folders, set up your little Google alerts or your little Google filters and your Outlook filters to take all of Brian Tracy stuff and put it all in a Brian Tracy folder. And pretty soon you're going to have this humongous database of people who spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on the best copywriters in the world. And you're going to be able to say, okay, so I sell this, which is kind of like what uh, Gary sells. And this is it. And you're going to be able to look through and find a good headline that you can modify slightly. Don't copy. You're going to modify it slightly. Then you're going to go in and you're going to find the copy that sort of works and you're going to modify it to fit you. And next thing you know, it, you just saved yourself a fortune in all of those $13,400 of fees we talked about. So right. it is possible to do it yourself. Just follow the path of those that are doing it. Right. So if you're getting emails from us, make sure you keep them and, and continue to put, get them. Put them in a folder. Put them in a folder. We've researched headlines. We've researched copy. We've split test our copy. Right. And this is this is our small business dream swipe copy. Really simple uh, and effective. Right. Recently became aware of a program that may help your business increase sales. Did you know a joint venture done properly can raise your sales faster than almost anything else you can put your money and effort into? To do a joint venture right, you need to be prepared. And then we just go on to giving them the tips and tricks of the stuff that might work. 
And then they pop into a form at the bottom end, fill it in, and a bing, we've just created a sale and or, you know, we've, we've actually got listed all of the different things we do. So we've created a sale or we've created a lead depending which way we're going. Exactly. So these are things you need to be able to do. But, uh, you know, uh, this is what we can, you know, you do it yourself for yeah, free. You, you can hire somebody to do it for you, yeah. you know, and then we'll show you how uh, you, know, you can uh, work with us to get this done. That's right. Right. So let's just talk about your profile updates. Here's another little tick. Why don't we give them a little, another, another, little, another little freebie? Another freebie. Yeah, yeah. So having a good Facebook uh, and LinkedIn profile, having an all-star profile on LinkedIn is absolutely yeah. the most important thing you can do. And there's components to it. So you need to have your name written above on your image. Okay, so don't rely on it being down in the white space. It wants to be in your image. You want your tagline, your title, your your thing that creates, you know, I'm the premier holistic uh, healer in Vancouver. You know, that thing needs to be there. Your website URL, if you have one, I know it's all over LinkedIn. It needs to be in that header. A picture of you, a nice converting pose of you is good. A converting pose. What does that look a converting like, Converting pose. Dennis? My goodness. Why don't we tell them what a converting pose is going to look like? That not that one. It's not that one. Right. Now, However, do not use a photo that is 10 years ago or 40 pounds ago. Yeah, I mean, you start doing that because you're, oh, but I look better then. The problem is you look the way you look now. Yeah. And if you show me how you looked a long time ago and we sit down for a coffee or we get on a webinar and I see you don't look that way anymore, I'm instantly disengaged with you. I'm instantly like, wow, so from the very beginning, you lied to me. Yeah, you'll make a good joint venture partner. Don't do it. We understand you'd really like to now a little bit of Photoshop touch up and yeah. get rid of a little bit of blemishes and, yeah. you know, some so stray hair. Yeah, totally fine. But the 20 years ago picture that you're in love with, nobody else loves it. Sorry. Nobody else loves it. So number one pose there, Dennis. This is it. As we do it. You as, see it on our website. Yeah. As partners. Um, interestingly enough, if you are in a partnership with a man and a woman, Men and women together with this pose convert considerably better than men and men. Women and women convert better than men and men. However, we're two men. So that's just we got we good spot do. number three. There we go. So <laughs> that is uh, number one converting uh, pose. And number two. Yeah. Well, this let's is, go back. I mean, let's, we're, we're educating here. Yeah. So notice that the fingers are, well, you can't see me. The fingers are not spread open. Not the like, fingers yeah. are not folded under your armpits. They're, it's a very external type of a thing. So when you come back and, and look at the, the review of this to do these, follow very specifically what we're doing yeah. because all the little things matter and all of the little things actually increase or decrease your conversion rates. With they do. They do. So power pose number two is we call the giver. Yes. The giver. Now, this is not the beggar. Okay. Right. The beggar's hands flat out like this. That's the, not the beggar. Yeah. Your hands you have are a big, flat out. One of those big um, yoga balls. There you go. There we go. You have one of those big blue balls. That's Holding just, onto a yoga ball. Exactly. Right. And giving it to them. That's the giver. That's the giver. That's right. That's the giver. And then we have the thinker. The thinker. Yes, the thinker. So again, it's not holding your face. It's not putting it in the palm of your face. It's yeah. very specific. Look at the hand positions. Right. And then alternate. Have it. Have it both hands. Yep. So you're, depending on what part of the photo that you're, you're you're using the image on will depend on which side and you're doing. Your, and your other hand cups your elbow. It's not over your elbow. It's not tucked under your armpit. It cups your elbow and supports your arm to be thinking. Now, now the, the next pose um, uh, is if it's appropriate. If, if, it, if it works for you, it doesn't work for everyone. And it doesn't work for every product. It tends to work really well for books, manuals, or things that you can be sort of showing off in it. But it's a very, very highly converting pose if you can get away with it if your product <laughs> is appropriate. <laughs> yes, there, Dennis. Uh, easy to do with a green screen. Just have it underneath, crop out the background, yep. Yep. and boom, pop it up. Yeah, I did one too. <laughs> and uh, then you can take it and stick it. Like there I am. Uh, that's my Facebook profile. Yep. And uh, you can see in front of uh, Vancouver. And not recommended to use this on LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn tends to be a little bit more businessy, where Facebook's a little bit more personal. Absolutely works on Facebook. And then notice when you're making these images that um, Facebook and LinkedIn have certain things that are all, that will cover your photo. That's right. So don't put important stuff there. Right. So, uh, and you can see it's all visible. Uh, my headshot doesn't cover a part. It just covers my armpit. Yep. And if you search LinkedIn or Facebook profile templates, there's lots of cool people that have given you the exact specs and pixel sizes and stuff to do that. Yeah. Right. So our, in our funnel, we offer a 20% cash or a 35% in small business dream credits 
for our JV partners. That's right. So we have a JV, which is available, and that's what we offer. And that's what you can do. You can decide to do cash or you can do in-store credits. You know, even a restaurant can be a so-called JV. Get their customer to bring their customer, give them in-store credit, you eat there for free, you bring your friends, which you would have done anyways, but maybe now you bring more friends. Everybody wins. Right. And you can do the same thing when you make a joint venture, have your different products and services right. available. Tell them when you're going to process your payments. So when are you going to pay your yeah. joint venture partners and how are you going to pay them? It's just all part of the original agreement. So we've got LinkedIn profile and banner tune-ups for $2.99. All these things are things that people can JV with us and sell to their list. And they make 20% in cash or 35% in in-store credit. So small business dream credits working towards our $5,000 blueprint, whatever it may be. Yep. There you go. So, Step four is to engage. Yeah, and this is the hardest step. So a lot of people are really good at research. A lot of people are really good at spending forever on swipe copy and forever on their sales funnel and another Russell Brunson course and another this course and another that course because none of that is scary. It all feels like progress and you wanna get through that stage as fast as possible if you plan to rapidly increase your sales. Right. You need to reach out and get those joint ventures started. Reach out to five. This is your goal. If you're going to do this right now, at the end of this, start writing down some names of potential joint venture customers or influencers or businesses that you researched and ask them to engage in a joint venture. You need to ask. And if you want to really put a fire under your own butt, do this step first, then go through all the research and prepare once you have a couple of people looking interested. Because right. then you'll have to hurry. You won't have time to squirrel away and waste years of your life getting ready. Right. So if you've got somebody that says, I need your swipe copy and you haven't done it yet, yeah, you're better gonna figure it out. You're gonna get it fast. <laughs> Give them something. And then step five is to follow up. And this is where most people fail, uh, is in the follow up. It doesn't matter whether this is a one to zero, a zero to one or a one to one. Make and keep commitments and time frames to take action. And no, they didn't call you back or they didn't text you back, so therefore they're not interested. It's not true. That's your brain talking to you stop listening to your brain. They're not interested until they're interested and it's your job to get them there. So if they said they're a bit interested, then they ignore you for two weeks. You don't assume that they hate you because they don't care about you. Yeah. You just keep reaching out and reaching out. If they finally tell you, look, leave me alone. Excellent. Next joint venture partner, but keep reaching out. Some people don't check things that often. Everybody's busy just like you. So you got to follow up. You can't expect they're just going to be so excited about your stuff. Now, the neat part is if you're selling other people's stuff, you don't need to follow up. They'll pester you to crap if they're any good. And if they don't pester you until you make a commitment and do something, don't joint venture with them because exactly. they're not good at their business. No, exactly. And so let's, let's summarize what it would cost if you were to go out there and and, and hire people. Yeah, to if you get were to your, hire people to do all this and to do all this. some of the tips we've taught you, right. it's not cheap. No, I mean, we can, we can, uh, you can see all the things that we just talked about out of all the prices, you know, this is almost 14 grand Yep. to be able to go at all the setup costs. And for you Canadians, it's more than that because this is US dollar pricing. Right. Wouldn't it be nice if somebody could just set this all up for you? Yes. Man, I wish so. Yeah. So some people want to do it themselves. That's right. And that's okay. And that's okay. And some people don't have the time to do it themselves or don't want to do it themselves. They have the money. You want to do it yourself? We gave you tips to get you probably 95% of the way there. We have some great news now. Yes, we do. You can do this all yourself. That's right. You don't you have can. to spend 14 grand. It just takes time. Exactly. So we've got lots of time. You want to do it? We've shown you a lot of things. We've given you the blueprint. That's right. On how to go create a joint venture. And we'll make this available as a repeat so you can actually come in and yeah. study it and take screen caps and uh, do what you need to do. Yeah. The only thing you will need that you can't really do it yourself, you're going to need a really good sales funnel and tracking software. That's right. And there's many different companies out there that can sell it. Yep. And we said, you're going to be looking at a ballpark of around $100 a month. That's right. Because you're not just looking for a follow-up system. You're looking for joint venture stuff. You're looking for the tracking. You're looking for the affiliate program. These things, because of course, an affiliate program is a joint venture. It's just now we call them joint ventures because people are scared of the term affiliate. Uh, so you do need something that does, well, you don't need something that does it all. It's going to be better for you. And that's why we're not talking about $29 for whatever we're talking about 1200 years so that you actually have all the things you need and you can do this without needing 900 hours a day to administer it. Exactly. So we have a special offer. If you want to do it yourself, Dennis, Yes. we have the small business dream sales and marketing automation software with our business finder directory listing, listing and joint venture module. Right. So this is actually your full sales and marketing on automation software and app. 
Uh, it's your email autoresponders, it's push notification follow-up, sales funnels, um, surveys, it's business card scanner for networking events, contact manager, social media follow-up, and uh, just on and on. It's your full featured, does it everything for you in sales and marketing automation, and a business finder directory listing, as well as access to our joint venture module. So you can literally put your business into our app, say what your JV is, and people can find you without you even needing to find them. Right. So what is the joint venture module, Dennis? Well, if you've got a directory listing, you have the ability to also offer through the directory listing a joint venture. So right. a directory listing looks like this. You come up, people find you in a list, they search for you, they find local businesses, and there's the list. There's a little button there. Some of them will have a little JV logo like that. If they go. do, they're open to joint venture partners and you can apply to joint venture with them. In this case, a skincare company has products and they're willing to let you joint venture with them and you can learn about their products a little bit and they're willing to pay you 10%. So if you want to earn a 10% commission, you click the request to join button. Yep. Really simple. You confirm that you've accepted their terms and conditions, yep. which they've already written into the joint venture in the app, and they send the request, and it was sent, and you'll be notified when you're approved. Yeah. So then the vendor that you've asked to joint venture with has the ability to actually approve or not approve. So if you're in our app, you don't have to accept everyone. You know, you can say, sorry, you don't qualify because you're a person, you're not a business, whatever it is. You have your rules. You set it to work for what you're trying to make it work at. Right, and we have a special offer for you on this webinar only. Correct. Regular price is $9.99 for the year. And we're going to give you a bit of a discount. So All right. For this webinar, if you come and you mention the webinar and you mention the uh, blue suit jacket, no, it's okay. You can just come and tell us that you're on the webinar. It's $4.99 for one year. There you go. So it's a 50% discount, Dennis. Yep. There we go. Now, what if you don't want to do it yourself? That's right. If you raise your hand and said you don't want to do it yourself, you're no going to problem. be even happier. We have a joint, a, a, a done for you solution that we'd be happy to assist you in all of these areas. We're going to give you the software. We're going to give you the swipe card. We're going to create a swipe help card. you write the swipe copy and help you put the sales funnel together. So we get the input we need from you, then we create it all and give it back to you. You don't have to learn how to do it. We just do it and we work with you to make sure it's acceptable to you and convince you where you're wrong to make sure that it works. Right. Then we help create the all-star profiles in Facebook and LinkedIn. Yep. And, and a year of mentoring. So you get 12 one-hour calls, so usually about once a month, where we'll get on to see where you're going and we'll hold you accountable. We're going to ask you what you said you were going to do. We're going to ask you if you did it. And uh, once a month for 12 months, we're going to make sure you stay on track. Um, we've experienced that after 12 months, you're either on track or you've given up. And uh, therefore, you don't really need us after that. But we're available. If you need us more, we have other packages to help keep working with you. Right. And you get access to our exclusive joint venture mentoring Facebook group. And this is where everybody's helping everyone. Other joint venture people just like you. And of course, it's a great place to find other joint venture partners. There you go. Now, normally charge uh, $5,000 for the year. Yep. But if you're on this webinar, that's right. there is a special. Yep. Uh, we're going to knock off $1,000. That's right. So $3,999 for one year. Right. Or you can do a $999 deposit and we'll put you on a simple payment plan. Contact us. Our contact details are coming up. We'll discuss the payment plans if you're interested in one of those. That's right. So it's Craig and Dennis at smallbizdream.com. Our website is at smallbizdream.com, which would make sense if that's where our email goes that's to. It. All right. And coming up at the end, you'll even have our phone number. Right. So what I want you to do here is uh, I want you to download the app. So yes. you're here on the webinar. Um, you won't be able to download for here, but this page you can. You so uh, scan this QR code yep. with your phone. If you're on an iPhone, just use the camera. Yep. And it'll bring up a QR code reader automatically. Hit the little link at the top. It'll take and it'll take right a break. to iTunes. You can download the app. Yeah. If you're it's on, a free app. It's free. Download it for free. It's going to ask you to uh, put a code in. Put in the top. The top. That way we know that you came in from this webinar and you can have the special price. There you go. Just push submit. And then... Request a joint venture with us. There you go. Real simple. Not so hard at all. All right. So we did promise you some stuff. So uh, you want to get a copy of my book today for free. You go to this website, twt.bz, because we're in Canada, BZ for Americans, slash LI book, LinkedIn book, and you'll get a download copy of my book. 
And if you'd like my book, which is the Small Business Profitability Secrets, it's a bunch of, I don't want to say case studies. It is actual case studies, but it's written in a storybook format, shows you how we've applied sales and marketing automation and joint venture techniques to multiple different industries. Uh, so lots of learning for you. And it's at twt.bz or bz slash profit book. There you go. You got questions, Craig and Dennis at smallbizdream.com, as you already said. Phone number 604-900-2384. Reach out. We'd be happy to help. You can buy it now. Just go to smallbizdream.com. And remember, special pricing. If you want to do it yourself, $4.99 for one year. That's 50% off the normal. And done for you, $3,999 for one year, $1,000 off, or $9.99 with a convenient payment plan. Thank you, everyone. You know what? It was uh, great to have you uh, all joining us today. Thanks to everybody for taking some time out yes. of their schedule to learn about how you can be profitable with a joint venture. And I'm we'll have the replay available because we know there's a ton of stuff in there that you might need to pause and go back over. All right. I'm Craig Pelliquin. And I'm Dennis Wilson. From Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Have a great day. Bye for now. Bye for now.